Hi y'all, Terhi here again. I'm super happy to use Pebbles new line, Jen Hatfield for Pebbles, with the line called My Bright Light. And I have two options for the photograph I'm using today. One of is my daughter and actually the other one is the same daughter but riding a horse. And as I'm going through all these lovely products and papers we have in the collection, I'm pretty sure that I'm going to use the colorful picture and lots of flowers because I can't resist all these beautiful flowers that are in these papers. I'm going to take off a couple of these papers that I might use on the layout, but not necessarily. Um, this is really traditional way for me to start working with the new collection. I'm just going through all the papers and doing some rough, uh, rough selection. And now that I have them all here, what I selected, I might take a couple of off. Because too much is too much and I think four is quite good. I might going to cut out some flowers from, from other papers too, but mainly I'm going to use these four. And as I'm going to do a lot of layers to really show off the lovely patterns of these lovely papers and, and um, highlight the beautiful photograph of my daughter, I'm going to just make some paper scraps and I will cut these photographs a bit smaller because there was a bit too much of empty space for my, my paste. So what I want to see is my daughter's face and her lovely fingernails freshly manicured and just making some paper scraps to make some kind of paper cluster for the layout. And as said, I'm going to use some of the uh, other papers to cut out some flowers. As like here, I'm going to cut these flowers out. These are really easy to cut, even though you were uh, you are not like really keen on fussy cutting. But these are so clear and easy that you can you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. I promise. Because I'm not really good at this and I'm really sorry this uh, <laughs> that my hands are perfectly not in the middle of the screen but I'm focusing that much because <laughs> I'm not that good with it but you can do it I know you can so what I'm going to do next is that I'm going to um, do a paper, paper cluster I have this pinky paper um, behind the photograph first but I want to have other papers too and some, some to add some contrast, this brownish paper to add some contrast and I really like the green uh, striped paper too and of course more flowers. I'm using a stepper to adhere them all together so I can add more and now that I have loose edges of, of the paper um, layers, I can add something between the layers. Quite easy and quite um, quick thing to do. Um, but now that I'm thinking about the layout, I can see that um, as I'm going to use white background, I want to have something going on on the background and not much, but some. So this lovely paper would be perfect for my idea. I'm going to cut out these little squares which have this flower in the middle and these are a little less than inch by inch so I'm cutting out another paper uh, sized inch by inch and then add them on top of each other and they can be my patterned background. I'm going to adhere them with double sided tape or with 3D foam to the background and that will be it. It's quite, <laughs> again, easy thing to do but so effective because now you can see the layout has quite different, quite different look. Uh, I want to add some more embellishments and I'm choosing to use these lovely die cuts from uh, this lovely My Pride Life collection. 
I'm going through all these little pieces and choosing a couple of the flowers and these cups and I'm going to cut out the cups because I'm adding that um, half of the cups between the layers so I can use the other half for another layout and I don't have to use that completely to this one. I also cut a couple of these little birds to use because I love birds. I love butterflies and I do love birds so these are going perfectly together. There was also these lovely puffy stickers and cardstock stickers and stickers so there are lots of different things you can add um, for the layout and they will all match to perfectly together. Before I'm attaching the photograph I'm adding a couple of drops of pink mists. Um, I actually love using Heidi Swap color sign mists but I didn't have the pink one left so I used another one but this mint Heidi Swap color sign is also perfect and it will bring some green to the layout which is kind of cool um, and it will spread out the colors to the white background and that's something I really want to do for each page I'm doing that it will look really smooth and it, it must look like it should be there nothing unexpected and like that but now I'm just uh, using 3D foam to add all these fuzzy cut flowers uh, partly on top of the photograph which might be shocking for some of you but I really like the way that some some of the embellishments are on top of photograph again to make it smooth um, and I'm not sure about the title because I first thought that I will use only the tickers the golden tickers for the title to add a word or two words but no I'm not sure because I might want to have something else but first I'm adding couple of these puffy stickers which are matching of course perfectly one flower here and other there and maybe third one somewhere else uh, but of course as I love butterflies I will go with one butterfly puffy sticker and the pearly two and then something else uh, there was lots of these little words and phrases uh, on one of the 12 by 12 paper and I thought to pick up this I'm growing every day because she is growing every day and just added X and O behind it and again it makes much more layers. I hope you are inspired and I hope you like seeing this uh, scrapbooking process and if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask I'm here to answer and have a nice day thanks for watching bye